Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing some acrylic press on nails. Um, off camera, I did go in and put some gel base on, cured it in a lamp for 60 seconds. Just because I need these nails to be temporary, I need to be able to pop them off. I do have quite a few interviews that I am going on this week to see where I, which hospital I will be doing my clinical in. So, you know, I can't have nails on. So here I did go in and apply the full cover tips on with KDS glue. Not my preference. I haven't been liking KDS glue lately. Um, just if I haven't used my glue in a while, it turns thick, almost like a jelly consistency. And that's a no bueno for me. So after um, I apply my nails, I do go in and shape up the square a little bit more just to my liking and buff it. I do go in and clean it with some alcohol and then I prep the nail as just as is as if I'm going in with regular acrylic application. I am going in first with a primer and then I'm going in with pH bond from Pro Nail Bar. I'll leave the link to everything that I'm talking about down below. Um, a lot of people ask me, is this step necessary? I say yes, just because um, I don't want my acrylic to lift off of the full cover nail so i just go in and prep it just because we all know the ph bond and the primer helps the acrylic adhere to the natural not the natural nail, the uh whatever nail the natural nail or the the false nail that i'm using i am going in with a size 12 amazon brush the brand is dash beauty this is a 12 is kalinsky brush perfect for a cuticle application um it's nicely rounded so if you're someone who's having trouble with applying acrylic near your cuticle area this one here basically puts the beads there and blend it out beautifully um i am going in with valentino um powder and young nail monomer i do have my monomer sitting on a warming plate which was my bad i meant to bend take it off because it definitely made my acrylic dry down fast but this brush works so well that i didn't have any trouble blending it out typically if your acrylic beads dry down fast and you don't have a good brush like you're just in trouble you're just gonna have a glob of acrylic sitting on your nail but as you guys can see here it just pounced the acrylic back and it definitely does the work holding your nail down so gravity is your friend the bead will flow down perfectly and look at that pat 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 that bead was actually dried down really fast because like i said i had it sitting on a plate but i was able to blend it out um when you are doing acrylic press on nails you want to go in just as if you are doing your regular um steps that you use when you do a half tip nail versus a full nail same method um i do have a giveaway coming up i will announce that in my next video i'm gonna gather everything it will only be one winner um so if you are interested in that please make sure you are following me um so that you can be updated on the giveaway so what have you guys been up to i'm gonna have to try to get this video up before thanksgiving um if i do happy thanksgiving for those that celebrate um i hope you guys are enjoying your family myself i am like i said gearing up for clinical so i really can't have nails on so if you are working in a healthcare profession or any type of profession where you can't have long nails rather it is um, a restaurant, this is a great method for you to put your nails on and get that same flawless look. Do y'all see how fast this bee is drying? But the brush was able to go right in and blend it out for me. Yeah, so this is a great method. I was able to take these nails off two days later just by putting my hand in some warm soapy water uh, for like maybe five minutes. And then I just rocked it the nail back and forth literally a few rocks and they came right off um this is perfect for those of you who want to wear long nails temporarily and then take them off let me know if you try this down below um i do recommend this for you if you want to just give your nails a break from acrylic um there was no soak off necessary i didn't have to sit my hand in acetone at all i will be using this method a lot more coming up on my channel just because like i said your girl is about to be in a hospital i have like three or four interviews coming up to see which hospital i will be doing my clinical in and you guys know i can't wear nails but i do want to make sure um I'm getting videos out for you guys and then not to mention I love having my nails also I don't think I told you guys if well if you're following me on Instagram then you already know I passed my state board so my license should be coming in the mail very very soon um a lot of you was asking me on Instagram what took me so long to take my test I actually finished 
nail school in July. Um, August, I just was, you know, relaxed and I took a lot of vacations, my anniversary. Um, I was just all over the place traveling in August and I booked my appointment in September. So the only available date that they had was one in November and one in December. They are pretty backed up in PA, um, from COVID still. So I took the first date available, which was November the 14th. Um, I really want to do a story time and let you guys know the expectations, especially if you are in PA or should I even say Philly, when you go take your test, it was just nothing that I expected um, as far as the actual test and the environment. Like it was just, it was nothing I expected. And I have taken plenty of tests to pass state boards. And this was just like, something that just, I don't know. I, I just have, to, I'll go into a, v, uh, a video just so you know, cause I know there's a lot of you that watch my channel that are currently in school in PA. And then there are a lot of you who are thinking about becoming nail techs just to give you something to go off of and prepare because I don't think I was prepared for this test if that makes sense so here like i said um just going and repeat and this is really repetitive i know i always use that word repetitive in my videos but that's why i try to come on and do different things i think a, a applying application is one of the things that you guys like to see um and here this brush i'm telling you if you are looking for a brush i will link this down below i do have a discount code i will put it um, in the front of the video, also in the back, and it will be linked down below. Um, it is true to uh, the description. It is a Kalinske. It is true to the size. It is a true 12. It's not cheaply made. So if you're looking for an affordable brush, definitely check them out. Um, and here, I just wanted to do something really simple. Um, you guys know I'm notorious for going in with my French tip. I went in with a pink French tip, and this gel polish is by Beatles. I used this on my channel a month or so back here i'm going in with a triple color french tip um these colors are just gorgeous i would like to use this kit a little bit more um, my clients stick to the same stuff i am currently not taking new clients but when i do i hope and pray like i get people who want long nails everyone just want little short nails i mean i'm not mad at it but i like to do long nails that way i can showcase my different skills and I can practice, you know, different stuff. So here, just going in and applying that and these uh, polishes work really good. I am using, I'm sorry, I'm using a Lufuna nail art brush. Um, I use this before my channel. So if anyone is asking, I will also try to find a link for that and link it down below. Really, really good brush, especially if you're not used to working with liner brush. A lot of people that's not used to working with liner brushes, y'all automatically start with a longer brush. That's not always easier. The smaller liner brush that is really tapered and thin, you have a lot of control over the product. So here doing the same thing. And I don't know about you guys, but it take me a while to do liner work so at some point i was like okay this is my last nail um doing this because i'm not about to sit here and draw these lines so the next nail i do go in with a, a deeper french tip and i was just going to leave it just like the thumb but i decided to go in and add more um color to it just so that it matched the rest of the nails so here going in and filling it in with a brush nothing too serious you can't tell me these don't look like um acrylic nails although they are but they don't look like press ones at all let me know down below if you are interested in trying this if you have any questions about state board yeah that's what i want you guys to do leave me questions down below regarding state board that way i can answer any questions that you may has have especially if you're in philadelphia lastly i am going in with pro nail diamond top coat i am going in with a very thin layer of this making sure that i don't have any air bubbles and if i do before i cure it in a lamp i'll go back and blend them out i do make sure to clean my cuticle area with a little bit of alcohol um just before i cure it just so that my cuticles do not look flooded and they do look flush giving the illusion that these are acrylic nails there were a few little bubbles in here so i did go in and blend it if you see bubbles that is basically just letting you know you have entirely too much gel polish on your nail to get rid of it just go in and blend over the nail taking off some of the product so here i'm just repeating the process doing it to each nail and although this is sped up i do take the time to go in after i put the gel top coat on each finger and clean the sides up and then clean my 
cuticle area. Let me know what you guys think about these nails. Um, last but not least, I do go in and treat my cuticles with a little bit of cuticle oil. Um, these look cute. I was so happy to be able to have these on. Like I said, I only kept them on for two days because I had some things to do. But let me know if you are interested in trying press-ons. Do you sell press-on acrylic nails for your business? These came out so, so cute. And I believe I do give you guys a video glimpse of what they look like at the end really pretty they are definitely given freshly stepped out of the salon and if i wanted to i could go back in and glue these nails on these are really really pretty don't forget everything i use in this video will be linked down below